Hello there everyone, this is Farhan from the designer's Law. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today I'll show you how to create this promotion trail or ghosting trail effect. We'll be using this video in this tutorial. What we want to achieve here is that we want to make a copy or echo and follow the subject's movement. I will show you two ways of doing that. One is a faster way but sometimes it may not give you a perfect result. The second way is a little time consuming but it will give you a much better result. Okay, let's first see the easy way. Go to effects and presets. You can type here echo or you can go to time and select echo. Now in the effect controls you will see various options. By default it will brighten up things because of the add blend mode. Let's change it to minimum. Minimum takes the darker areas. Echo time is the delay time from the original time. Number of echoes is simply the well number of echoes. If I set it to 3 that means there will be 3 copies or echoes. Let's set the echo time to negative 0.2. I set it to negative because I want the echoes to follow the original subject. Strutting intensity is the opacity. And decay means the opacity of one echo from another. But as I said earlier, this is not the best way to do this. It may work in some cases but not this case. So let's say the second way. I'll delete this echo effect. Let us start it from the beginning. First duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command and D. You can name this layer for your own convenience. In the echo layer, we'll make a selection. Select the roto brush tool and double click here. Now if you paint here like this on the subject, after effects we'll try to select the subject. You can move the timeline and check if any modification is needed. If you hold alt or option and paint, it will subtract the selection. You can change the brush size from the brushes panel. Here you can see a gray line with arrows. I want to select the subject from straight to finish of this clip. So drag it to the end. You don't need a perfect selection but try to get a decent selection. Once you think you can get a good selection, click the freeze button. Now after effects we'll try to analyze each frame and make a selection. You can always come back and unfreeze it and modify the selection. For example, this area is not selected properly. I will paint this area and then again click freeze. Okay, once you are done selecting the subject, you will see some options here in the effect controls. You can also fine tune the selection by changing feather, contrast, shift edge or some other parameters. Now apply the echo effect. Change the echo operator to composite in front. We want the original subject at the top. Let's set the echo time to minus 0.2 so the echo will follow the original subject. I will set the echo number to 3. You can set it according to your need. I'm just showing you an example here. You can also change the intensity or opacity. Reducing the decay means the first echo will have more opacity. The second echo will have less opacity than the first one and so on and so forth. Now if we play, we'll get a result like this. Cool, right? You don't need to always select the subject. In this example, apply the echo effect and change some of the settings. You will get a decent result. Here we have a fixed background. If we have something moving in the background or we have a camera movement, then that will be a totally different case. For example, if I apply the echo effect in this clip, it will look like this. It's kinda cool but depends on what you want. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please like and subscribe my channel. I will see you on next week. Thank you so much for watching this video.